Mike, why is Montana such a great place for boating? For boating, there's some great waters. So kayaking, boating, drift boats, there's just a diversity of places to go. And with that, there's a diversity of fish. So there's tons of opportunity here, lots of different species. What's some of the prep work that we do before you actually get to the ramp to load the boat in the water? When I pulled up, I made sure that I had my coolers, my tackle, the other gear that was ready, took that out of the truck. Cover was off, so you can quickly unload the boat get it out of the way, get your truck off the ramp, and let the next one come in. What is the, uh, the the best advice you can give us on the plug in your boat in the state of Montana? The key thing to remember when we're at this point where we're about to put the boat in is that you put your plug back in. Are there any steps you take for the clean, drain, and dry process while you're still on the water before you get back to the ramp? We have many partners. Yeah. Walleyes Unlimited a couple years ago provided these handy sure. towels at their banquet, but it's good to just kind of start wiping things down. Looking through the boat, you know, did you bring in any vegetation that came in maybe on a hook or you got people swimming with you? Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, so you can kind of start cleaning up the inside of the boat. So we're out of the water now. Mike, what's next? Yep. So you want to do a walk around. And here you can see we have some vegetation yep. that's on the prop. Why is it important to get rid of that vegetation? We don't know what's growing in there. Just get a good wipe. Make sure you don't have things hanging. You also want to drop your motor because you've got your water pump that's going to have water in there. You might have a little kept around the housing. Pull the plug. That allows all the water to drain. So if there was anything in there, it's drained out and it lets your boat dry. I've got a little water in the live well. See that's draining. You always want to make sure you get your motor back up when it's drained. You don't want to drag your skag up the ramp. So for the next step, I'd throw on my straps. So trailer's ready to go. I like to leave my plug down, so it should be fairly drained. Because I'm going down the road, okay. that'll drain more. So that kind of makes a, a quick run around to the boat before you take off from that water as you prepare to be on the next water. When you pull up to a, uh, a watercraft inspection station, they're going to be looking to see if it's actually been drained. Yep, and it really is the easiest to do it at the ramp and it creates the less risk. It makes it easier for the staff that's there, moves you through faster. So Mike, does everybody that's towing watercraft have to stop at a watercraft inspection station? That is correct, not only if they're towing, but if they're hauling. You might have paddle boards or kayaks that are in or on a vehicle. Those are watercraft require inspection. So you pull out, you've, you've cleaned it up, and just out the end of the road, there's a check station, you need to stop. And then not only do you need to stop at that one, if you're going down the road and there's another open station, you need to stop at that one as well. But you do need to stop at every station. You can go, if you're wondering whether your watercraft needs to be inspected, that Clean Drain Dry Montana website, cleandraindrymt.com. Check those resources out, see what you need to do, show that you've done them, and you're gonna sail right through because you're not packing things, you've cleaned, drained, and dried.